lesson 25 and today I'm going to be doing order of operations and division and multiplication and some more problems. So we're going to start off by doing some op um, order of operations. When you follow the or rule called PEMDAS, it's basically parentheses, um, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So following that rule, we would do multiplication first here and get 6. And the 63 minus 6, which should give us, um, sorry, give me a second, which should give us 57. And then moving on, because it's addition and subtraction, order doesn't really matter here. So it's going to be 51 minus 32, which is essentially going to be 19. All right, we're just going to go by evens now. So now you see parentheses is first. So we're going to do parentheses first. So 93 minus 27. What is 93 minus 27? All right, let's think about that. You could do this with long division, but because I do just, I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to do actual just in my head. So 66 and the 66 plus 30, that's 96. Moving on, number six, 82 plus 70 plus 20. That doesn't really matter. So we just add those all up and you should get somewhere with the number of 163. Moving on, number eight. Again, the order doesn't matter. So 64, I mean, sorry, 34 plus 68 minus 8. That's just going to be. So, okay, let's just do 64 plus. Let's do 34 plus 68. That should be 102. 102 minus 8. What would that be? Uh, yeah, 102 minus 8. That would give you 94. And then moving on, we're going to do subtraction first, which is going to give us 10. Normally, we'll do multiplication first, but because there's a parenthesis, we'll do that first. Times 6, which is 60. Moving on, we're going to do some division. And this is actually pretty easy. So moving, we're going to just do this pretty quickly. So 800 divided by 8. Basically, 8 goes in 1, so 1, 0, 0. So that's 100. Moving on, number 3. You should kind of have this memorized, but... 8 times 7 is basically 56, so you know that it's going to be 7 as the answer. Number 5, 280 minus 7, 70, don't look at this like that, so just do 28 divided by 7, and we're just going to add a 0 at the end. What's 28 divided by 7? It's 4, but because it's in the hundreds, we'll add a 0, so it would be 40. Moving on, number 7, 30, 64 divided by 2, this is actually pretty easy, it's just one half of it, so it's just 32. Moving on, number 9, 270 divided by 9. Again, just look at it as 27 divided by 3, I mean 9, sorry, which is 3. But we're going to add another 0, so that would give us 30 for number 9. All right, moving on, I want to do some multiplication. So this isn't too bad. So number 131 times 3, um, just 3, 9, 93. Number 2, 21 times 2, 2, 4, 42. Moving on to number 5, 62 times 7. This one's a little bit harder, I guess. Um, there we go. It's 2 times 7, 14, 1. 6 times 7, 42. Add the 3, 43. So 434. 7, 66 times 2. 6 times 2, 12. Move it over. 1, that's 12. Add 1, 13. So 132. Moving on to number 9, 93 times 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times eight, 9 is 18, so 186 for this one. All right, that's it. Moving on, we're gonna do some word problems. So it says Lola and Barry, Perry and Ben have 90 can candies. They decide to share them equally. How many candies should each person take? So if there's three people and there's nine candies, so three people, um, then we need to split it equally. So we're just gonna do 90 divided by three, which is actually pretty easy. So how many times is three going to nine? Three, and add a zero, so it's just gonna be 30. So basically 30 candies. Moving on, we're going to do um, number three as the last one. Carol had 200 bunny, bunny carrots in his room. He has four rooms. How many bunnies can he have in each room? Which is easy, four rooms, and there's 200 bunnies. So when we want to give them equally, 200 divided by four, and five, so it would be 50. So how many bunnies? 50 bunnies in each room. And yeah, that's basically how you do this.